I would have loved to be an investigative journalist, mm -hmm. but I don't think I have the patience because it takes time yeah, to come does. up with that. And, uh, this whole idea of us reporting on women's issues, being biased because we're women, sorry, we can't help it. You know, that, we're not going to change that in our lifetime anymore. You said, I'm not a journalist. <laughs> I'm, a I'm just a director. I'm not a journalist, I'm a filmmaker. I said, what's the difference for me? And she explained it very nicely to me, because it, there is a difference, of course. Um, she said, when you go out to report, you go somewhere, you look at things, you investigate, and then you report back. When I, as a filmmaker, go somewhere, I uh, uh, talk to people, I take it in, and I come back with my own take on a story. So I am in there. We as investigative journalists are also in our stories. Of course we are, just by picking certain stories and leaving other stories for other people to cover. That's a personal choice. So the debate about objectivity always starts there. Where do you start from? You're never objective. They want us to team up with like NGOs or whatever. With certain NGOs, I cannot team up because I would lose my, my status as a journalist. I would give up my position as a journalist. Something that was not, wouldn't have been there without you as a journalist, right? A story that only you can do. It's about getting the facts right. Um, is it, is it all journalism getting the facts right? I started my journalism to do investigative report, but unfortunately, in our country, we don't have any private channel. Editorial support is very important, yeah, and uh, you can do something about getting that support, yes. If you are reporting, you are reporting the actual scene, but if you are an investigative reporter, you have to look beyond what is happening. I said it's not taking things at face value, um, but to expose. I, I truly agree that if the methodology is the key, mm -hmm. because uh, the biases or any other uh, opinions later, you have your methodology, and then you can say, well, here it is. This is my treatment. This is my control. This is my cookbook. And this is yes. my, my yeah. result, and then that's it. Start off with not being satisfied with the face value of, story, of, of what you find, then already you're investigating. Investigative journalism is systematic search for important connections, because that's what we do. When she was 18 years old, she was brought by some two men to northern Cyprus, and then she was locked in a brothel, and then she was abused for six months. And she came back and decided to complain to police. Uh, after I talked to her, I definitely understood that this is a story because uh, there were so many human uh, rights broken in her case. It was the right to uh, the right to know where you go, the right to know what you'll do, the right not to abuse, the right not to be beaten, the right to go back whenever you want, the right to have your passport and she didn't have. So I decided this is a story, but of course, uh, as we discussed in the before session, why it's important to public. And if it is only a singular case, you may be accused of bias. I am not a policeman to prove everything. I am a journalist and the journalist works with questions. So my role was to ask questions to everybody who get involved in this. So I'm very direct and ask all bad questions to film how he, they are blushing, how they cannot answer because it's good for the film. I'm not accusative. I don't accuse them in any question. I'm not the prosecutor. I am a human being like everybody. I just want to give to public. And I am very, very careful with victims. I ask three, four times 
if she agree, if I may use her name or not, and if not, I don't convince her anymore. I just tell and explain that I use small parts, and if she doesn't want that I use her location or any identification, I don't use and I promise and I keep my promise. Uh, um, if you talk about perpetrators and they don't want to talk to you, you want to confront them with the accusations. Uh, I try in different ways. Um, I try, of course, ask them, do you want to talk to me? And when they say no, I go back to them and I try, um, uh, can I uh, uh, tell you what I know so far and correct me where I'm wrong? Because then, they, then you also get them into the part that you got right because they don't you know, contradict you on that. So that's where you got it right. If they don't want that, I, uh, uh, often as a last resort, I try, but don't you want to know what other people have told me about you? I send it to them in an email. Correct me, if, is, is this what you think we talked about? You know, is this the correct representation of what we talked about? And then I get a confirmation of, and I usually add in little bits and pieces that I didn't get the chance to, uh, to ask, and then I get even more information. Mm -hmm.